Hello, my name is Gabriela Amor, and in this video I will be describing two types of tests. These tests are the CRP and the ESR. Elevations in either test will signify inflammation if inflammation is present. However, neither will identify the exact source or location of the inflammation. The acronym ESR stands for Erythrocyte Sedimentation Rate. This test indirectly measures the degree of inflammation present in the body. It measures the rate of fall of erythrocytes in a sample of blood. The sample of blood is then placed into a tube for one hour. Red blood cells exposed to the inflammatory process will fall faster and will clump together. The ESR test then measures the level of red blood cells stacking. This is a non-diagnostic test, which means it is non-specific. The test provides general information about the presence or absence of an inflammatory condition. Next is the CRP test, which is an extremely nonspecific test. It is usually the preferred test for acute inflammation. It is a simple blood test. This test checks for high or low levels of C-reactive protein. This type of protein is produced in the liver. CRP signifies the presence of a specific protein triggered by plasma protein systems during the inflammation, inflammatory process. When there is an inflammation in the body, the C-reactive protein levels rise. Testing for CRP levels can indicate if an individual has a cardiovascular disease. This test is also used for people suffering from an autoimmune disease or have rheumatoid, arth rheumatoid arthritis, which cause inflammation.